We have breaking news, breaking news. Uh, President Donald Trump has sent a response, has made a response to the Kim Jong-un latest missile that was fired. The president sent two B-1 bombers from Guam, flew them along with four F-35 fighter jets, sent them right over the continent of Korea in South Korean airspace. He didn't break the airspace of North Korea, but he sent a clear message. As he flew over, we could bomb you right now. And uh, so this is a very, very powerful response. We're waiting to find out what will be the response now of Kim Jong-un, as he has been threatening to test a nuke underground. That's not good, folks. That is not good. We don't want this to happen again. So the, uh, the cat and mouse game continues, but really the concern is what is, the, what is gonna be the effects upon the world it's as if we're at war, and, and I'm very concerned because nobody shot that missile down, that Kim Jong-un, that he fired that Kim Jong-boom missile, that intercontinental ballistic missile. It was a medium range, but it went 1,677 miles and flew right over the continent of Japan. Nobody shot it down. Is it because nobody could? Is it because the USS Fitzgerald and the USS John S. McCain are crippled on the sidelines? And now we only have two boats that have the possibility? Give your life to Jesus Christ, folks. We're living in dangerous times. We're living in the last days.